since General Hospital already turned 50 today, April 1st, the one store, the storylines that I'm enjoying right now in General Hospital is AJ and Elizabeth, and then Michael and Star. Star has already left Port Charles though, but she is going to come back, because remember Christine Allerson, I think she's going to wrap it up in Wanted to Live, because remember Wanted to Live is brought back online, and also All My Children, remember they're going to be brought back this month in April. And then also Todd, he left too, and also Bing, probably going to wrap up for one to live, and then they're probably going to head back to General Hospital. Yeah, so that's what I'm enjoying right now, since General Hospital turned 50. That's the, that, that's the storyline I'm enjoying right now, the couples. I'm like I'm loving already uh, AJ and Elizabeth. I hope they do pair up soon. My gold star, of course. And then Sam, I think I'm enjoying Sam now without Jason, in the, without Jason in the picture, because... I think I like Sam where she is right now, raising Danny and then, I don't know, I just hope that maybe she's going to be with McBain. But I don't know if John McBain and Sam will happen because I think Sam can't be with John because maybe she's probably going to not honor Jason if she chooses McBain to be, to be with her, to be with her. Probably she's like, you know, trying to, trying to honor Jason because Sam knows probably, uh, Sam knows that John McBain is is better to be with Natalie since they have a since they have a child together, Liam. Yeah, so I'm liking Sam right now and probably being single. I hope maybe she will get back with McBain if she comes back to draw hospital. And then I, I'm joining also uh, Sunny and uh, Sunny and Kate Connie. I think I think I like better Kate but I think I like Kate now as Connie because I think she's more enjoying to watch Connie. She's more funny. The number she's kind of like an evil side, but Kate is the good girl. But I think I like I love Connie. But either way, I, I do love Sunny with Kate or Connie. But I'm loving Sunny, and, Sunny and Kate and Connie storyline because it's really really good to watch. That's what I'm enjoying right now in Draw Hospital. A lot of good stuff on Draw Hospital right now. When I turn 50 today. Just want to talk about what I'm enjoying right now on on Draw Hospital. Also, I'm enjoying. Uh, I love Carly with Todd. I think I, I think they do. I think I do hope they probably be a couple if if uh, Todd comes back to finish one to live Roger Howard. But I do miss Jax with uh, I do miss Jax with uh, with uh, with Carly. I, I think I like better Jax with Jax and Carly together. But probably that's not gonna happen because you know Ingo Random actually replaced Jax is not gonna be on the show full time, just part time. But that's basically it. That's what I'm just enjoying right now in Draw Hospital since GH turned 50 today, just wanted to talk about my favorite stuff that's going on, favorite storyline that's happening right now in Draw Hospital. But basically, basically I just want AJ and Elizabeth to be together, that's probably my favorite one right now. I just hope Elizabeth can get a good story, since Jason's not there no more on the show. Jason, since Elizabeth can't be with Jason no more, she can probably be with her brother, AJ. I know it's kind of weird that that Elizabeth's trying to is trying to be friends with Jason's brother, but I do, I do, I do think that AJ and Elizabeth will will happen. It doesn't matter if Jason is or is AJ's brother, you know. But have let, let's let's see where this heads for AJ and Elizabeth. I just definitely think that, that they're gonna be a good couple because they have a lot of good scenes lately. They've been sharing a lot of scenes lately, so I, I do hope, I do pray that I'm praying that AJ and Elizabeth will will definitely be a pair when it's already when it's already when the time comes because you know Asian Elizabeth been been talking a lot lately as friends so I hope it leads it leads to something more because you know Elizabeth needs to get a storyline she's also the reason why I watch since no more Steve Burden why not why not have Elizabeth have have the good story right now draws with with Asia.
welcome to my next vlog. I'm going to talk about my next vlog on General Hospital. This is part two. So I'm going to talk about my favorite moments on General Hospital. So here we go. I'm going to talk about my favorite. So also, by the way, I got the new General Hospital magazine, the People's Magazine. So this, this is the magazine that people wanted, wanted for General Hospital for so many 50 years. So if you guys haven't bought a copy yet, go buy it. Buy it in the news wherever your favorite store is, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, or even also Target. And there's the back cover. So I got I got my issue. I got my issue for Draw Hospital celebrating 50 years. So here we go. I'm going to talk about my favorite moments from Draw Hospital. Not the, maybe not, I'm not going to name my 50 moments. I'm just going to name like what was my favorite from Draw Hospital when I was watching it from 1999. And then do right now, but also probably from from when I watched it from back in the day, like like from the 90s, like because I have you know have some tapes that I, I watched it from back in the day, from the 90s though. Remember, I was part of the 90s, not part of the I wasn't part of the early the early GH. All right, so here we go. Okay, also my other moments. I have a lot of moments, so here I'm, I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna rant about my favorite moments from General Hospital. Hashtag GH50. Alright, so I think my favorite, of course, I got a lot of moments from from uh, Jason, Steve Burden, when he was with Robin in the 90s. Remember after he had the accident? That was that's one of my favorite moments. When Jason had the accident, he had no, he had no, he didn't remember who he was. Remember he wasn't Jason Corden anymore. He was Jason Morgan, and then he met uh, he met Robin, and then they fell in love. So he was Jason Morgan now. A lot of good stuff that I love from Jason Robin because that was my also my favorite couple, and that was also uh, Jason's. Uh, that's that was Jason's first love after the accident. So there was a lot of good moments from Jason Robin. I like their, I like their 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 music for when they were together. The Dance with Life by uh, Brian Ferry. That was a good song from their uh, when they went to uh, Moon Talk. That was those were one of the good moments from Jason Robin, and they ended. Sadly, they officially ended. They broke up twice, though, and then they got back together twice. Uh, they broke up when, when Robin left in 1999, right? She left to Paris. She wanted to stay there for good, and then Jason Robin they lost contact already because Robin told uh, Robin told AJ the truth that Michael was his father, and then Jason didn't like it. But they broke up before Robin broke up with Jason before that happened, and then. Like Robin was not officially on Draw Hospital anymore after that. She was gone like years, but she came back. Remember, she came back in 2005. She officially came back to. Uh, she uh, was. She was a part of the story with Jason. Uh, part of Jason when remember when we thought he was gonna die, he needed to have a surgery on his brain. But remember, Robin was the was the help for the medicine, and then and then, yeah. But Jason was not with Robin. As when she came back, as remember, Jason was already with Sam, so there was no more Jason Robin. So that was those were one of the good moments. But Robin found a new love. It was Patrick. So Robin was with Patrick, and then Jason was with Sam already. So good moments from from that from that time. But Robin did make a few appearances on Draw Hospital when she left 1990. She came. Remember, she made a few appearances on Draw Hospital, just only for one episode. Let's see. So Jason and Robin, those were one of my favorite moments from throughout the 50 years with Jason and Robin. They were a good couple. I'm basically probably going to just rant about mostly about Jason because he was my favorite character. But let's talk what else we can talk about. I can also talk about Sonny and Brenda. Sonny and Brenda were also a good. We were also, of course, a lot of, a lot of fans love Sonny and Brenda. They were the best. I think they preferred Brenda with Sonny than Jax. I remember Sonny and Jax always hated each other. There was always a love triangle between Sonny and Brenda, Sonny and Jax. A lot of, lot of good, lot of good stuff right there. When Brenda came back in 2002, she was with Alcazar, and then Jax married, uh, Jax married Sky. Sonny was with uh, Carly already. So the two guys of Brenda's. Lovers, they moved on already. But she, but she did marry. She didn't. It was gonna. She was gonna marry Jax. But, she, but uh, Jax saw 
car Jack saw Sonny kissing Brenda in the, at the pier and that proved that Jax couldn't marry Brenda because that means she still loves Sonny and then but Jax was uh, married to Sky though but it sucked though that Jax when she married Sky then Brenda came on the way so Brenda came came back and then no more Sky and, and uh, Sky and Jax but I did feel bad for Sky though because when Brenda came that's when it ruined for Sky to be with Jax and they were just married and during that time when Jax was helping Brenda so good stuff from, from Brenda yeah. uh, those were the good stuff from my Jar Hospital in those moments what else? Oh, we can talk about Stone remember Stone? remember uh, Robin's also a lo other lover, Stone Stone died of AIDS remember, remember he died in a that was he, he had a good scene though when he died in the he, he died in the Sunny's penthouse number in the room upstairs the Sunny's penthouse the old penthouse like they had a it was really emotional though because Stone died and then Robin was right there and then Sunny was was asking was asking uh, Robin if, if if he's dead already but yeah he died but I miss I miss Stone though I wasn't there when I when it aired on Jar Hospital but I did saw it on tape. I bought it from uh, Curry Curls because she's the one that sells all the edits from Jaws from the early days. So good, st good. That was a good moment. Also, when Stone died, he was a he was a HIV positive, and then there was they were oh, they also honored him with the nurses ball. Remember when? Remember when the nurses ball had when they aired it on TV? Yeah, a lot of good moments from the nurses ball because they always talk about. HIV, the AIDS, and then also Honor Stone when he died. So that was a good, another good moment for uh, for uh, Stone and Robin. They were also a good couple back then too. They were just teenagers. And then after when Stone died, Robin was with with, with Jason. Okay, what else? We can also talk about Lucky when I think there was another good moment for Lucky. Remember Lucky? Uh, Lucky died in the fire. Remember we thought he died. Remember we thought he died in the fire. Remember he was he was at the motorcycle shop. Remember Lucky was working with Jason. Remember there was a fire and then we thought Lucky died in the fire, but it turned out to be that he was alive. But remember he was kidnapped by Helena. Remember Faison was the one that kidnapped Lucky, but Helena paid a Faison to uh, to fake his own death. So Lucky was not really dead. He was still alive. But that was when that was the exit of uh, Jonathan Jackson. Jonathan Jackson left, and then we had a new Lucky. Remember, it was a uh, Jacob Jacob Young, but his character was all right though. But he just became crazy though when he played Lucky. Remember, Lucky when he came back after from the, uh, he came, after he came back from the dead, he wasn't really Lucky no more. It's like Helena twisted uh, Lucky's mind. Like he was really confused. And I remember, he he put he put a uh, he was like really jealous of Jason. Remember when Elizabeth and Jason started the friendship. Lucky pulled a knife on Jason, and then uh, Elizabeth didn't. Elizabeth didn't uh, believe Jason that Lucky tried to kill him. And a lot of good, a lot of a lot of good stuff right there. So that's how Lucky became crazy was because Helena he met, he messed up his mind. But Jonathan Jackson was the best Lucky though because I think when Greg Vaughn played Lucky, I mean not not Greg Vaughn, uh, Jacob Young when he played Lucky, I think he kind of became crazy when he played Lucky. So they. A lot of fans prefer Jonathan Jackson, but after Jacob Young, it was uh, Greg Vaughn. Greg Vaughn played good as Lucky too, but I think my favorite Lucky has to be Jonathan Jackson out of all the out of all the two other two Luckies. So that was a good moment when when we thought Lucky when we thought Lucky died in the fire, but it turned out to be he was alive. He was kidnapped by Helena. Okay, what else? Just randing my favorite moments right here. Oh, and also we gotta talk about. Xander, Xander was my favorite character too on, on the show. It sucks he didn't he didn't he didn't, uh, he didn't stay too long on the show. It was a uh, Chad Brannon who played uh, played Xander. I did love Xander with Emily, but I did also like I did love him with uh, with Elizabeth. Remember they had a love triangle. Jason had a love triangle with Elizabeth with Xander. And also I gotta talk about also about Lee's on too. Jason and Elizabeth. I gotta talk about my moments about them too. 
Today I'm gonna to talk about Xander. His uh, Xander was my favorite character. I love Xander when he was in Draw Hospital. So let's see what we can talk about Xander. I think my favorite moments was basically I think when he had the after uh, after he was working for Sunny and then when Emily left town and then when Emily officially broke up with Xander because remember Emily broke her legs and then the Corrine sent her away. But by the time she left, she left. Remember, it was played by uh, Amber Timber who played Emily before. But remember, she left, and then her her character exit. And then I think it, the storyline was Emily wanted to break things off with Xander. They broke up on the phone, so I think it was the quarter means they broke up. They wanted Emily to break up with Xander. So that was the last time they showed Emily as Amber Timber. But remember, she came back. I knew Emily came back, but it was played by Natalia Lindstein. She kind of did good as Emily. I think I kind of liked both Emily's Natalia Lindstein and uh, Amber Chamberlain as Emily's. Uh, okay, basically, I just liked Xander after he, after he was done working with Sonny. He, uh, he, he went on his own, but he, be, he just became crazy. Xander, he kept on crossing Sonny and Jason. Remember, he betrayed Sonny many times after going against him. Because remember, Sonny didn't want Xander going against him with his business. Like, Xander needed to start over, like, fix his life. But he worked, he worked with uh, two people. He worked with uh, Roy DeLuca, whoever played, played Roy DeLuca. What was his name? I forgot who played Roy DeLuca. Xander worked with him. Remember, Sonny and Jason had a rivalry going with Roy. And what else? Oh, yeah, Xander worked with Faith Roscoe. That was when, after, when Xander betrayed Sonny and Jason again, when, when uh, he was working with, uh, with Faith, because, remember, they warned, Sonny warned Xander that he doesn't get a second chance if he goes again, if he crosses him again, then he'll kill Xander. Yeah, I basically, I think I did love Xander basically with Elizabeth, though. I think if Jason can't, couldn't be with Elizabeth, I think I did love Elizabeth with Xander. But after... Remember Xander, he didn't have a he had a memory loss when Alcazar tried to kill him and threw him on the boat. Remember Xander was trying to Xander was trying to be stupid again, trying to probably work with Alcazar but try to use Sonny, get him information on Sonny and Jax. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff here. I'm not gonna like talk about it a lot. Of, I'm not gonna give you guys too much information. I'm just talking about my the moments that I had that, that I like. Yeah, so Xander and Elizabeth they were kind of a, kind of a good pair. But I did mostly like the triangle with Xander's storyline with Elizabeth and Jason when they had it. Was, it was kind of like a love triangle. But of course, Elizabeth she chose uh, not to be with Jason, and then she she just decided to be friends with Xander. Yeah. But remember, Xander died in uh, Xander died when he became crazy. He, uh, he he burned the Port Charles Hotel fire. Remember, he was the one that that uh, he's the one that's he's the one that. Uh, that uh, that caused the fire and some people died in the fire. Remember Xander's dad, Cameron. Remember he died in the fire. And of course, Xander, after the Port Charles Hotel fire was already done, Xander Xander faked his death. We thought he died in the fire, but he didn't. And then also, Xander uh, he came back, but he wanted to be with Emily. But Emily told Xander not. He, that he didn't want to be with her. He was with Nicholas. I didn't like that love triangle between Xander, Nicholas, and Emily because I didn't like that. I think Xander should have just walked away from Emily for good and then let Nicholas and Emily be happy. So I never really liked that. So Emily really hurt Xander there. And I remember Xander stuck with Elizabeth twice. First time was like a like a one night stand. I remember Jason saw that. Saw that in the, her her studio, and then Xander stuck with Elizabeth again on Halloween. It was like right after Xander saw Emily with Nicholas, like he decided she decided to be with Nicholas, and then over Xander. So Xander and Elizabeth had a one night stand again. Then, because remember Elizabeth was trying to forget about Rick, and then she got pregnant. She named her son Cameron after Xander's dad. So probably that's how to honor the memory of Xander, probably just naming Elizabeth wanted to name her her son Cameron after Xander's dad. Yeah.
But Xander died though. Xander died. He got shot from from uh, surrendering. Remember the, the the poor Charles police. They killed. They shot Xander. So that was it. But he did make an appearance though. He had a scene with uh, with uh, with uh, Natalia Livingston. Remember Natalia Livingston came back. Remember she died as Emily, but she was played as a different character. I think it was her character was called her character was named Rebecca. I think that was that was, that was her character. And then Chad Brandon, he didn't play Xander though. He played a different character. And then he had a scene with Natalia Livingston because that was uh, Natalia Livingston's exit from the show. She didn't come back after that. So that was good moments from from Xander. And there's a lot of stuff I got a lot to talk about. I'm not gonna basically name it a lot, but I'm just talking about like you know the good moments from the hospital. Okay, let's see. Oh, I gotta talk about Lizon. Lizon, Jason Lisbeth had a. They had a lot of good stuff. I gotta probably talk about a lot of about. I'm not gonna talk about the history of, of Lizon, but Jason Lisbeth they had a good. They had a good story. I love Jason Lisbeth. Remember I told you I'm not. I don't choose between Jason's pairing between his pairing with Robin or Sam or his pairing with Elizabeth because uh, I don't care who Jason's I don't care who who is Jason's girls like who who is he meant to be because I did support Jason with all his ladies because I did love I did love Jason's uh, I did love Jason's uh, pairings with all of them but mostly my main one was uh, Elizabeth and then my second was uh, was uh, Robin and then third was was a uh, was a uh, was Sam and then fourth yeah with Courtney so I love Jason's first with Elizabeth and then and then Robin third with Sam and then the fourth with uh, with Courtney but remember he was also with Keisha too but I didn't uh, I didn't uh, I didn't uh, I didn't watch it during that time like during when he was Jason Courtney because I did love Jason as Jason Morgan. I didn't, I didn't never knew Jason Courtney when I watched it. Yeah, so a lot of good stuff for Jason this, but I think I got a name a couple moments. They had a lot, I liked their when they, when they started their friendship at 1999, I remember when, uh, the summer of 1999, August, I think August, right? When, uh, Jason rescued, not rescued, but saved, uh, saved Elizabeth from a, a jerk in the bar at Jake's, remember Jake's? That's how they, they started a conversation about Lucky, because mostly, when Elizabeth and Jason became friends, Elizabeth just mostly talked about her, 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 mo her like her, you know, reading about Lucky to Jason, and then Jason was there just listening and as a friend. I think that was one of my favorite moments. But there's a lot, but I can't name a lot. I can't name you guys a lot. Of, no, 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 I can't name you a lot of moments from from Jason and Elizabeth because I have a lot. I'm just naming you some moments from Jason and Elizabeth. Also, another favorite moment was when they had the one night stand. Remember the night of passion, Jason was behind from uh, from uh, 2006. Remember that's when Jake was born. I did love that one because they finally Jason and Elizabeth finally they finally made love to one another. Because remember when Jason and Elizabeth they were the greatest love story ever told. Jason and Elizabeth it took time for them to never sleep together. Because remember when they were together, they were just friends only. But they had a chance to be a couple, but remember Jason lied to Elizabeth that Sonny was dead, and then Elizabeth went on with Rick. Yeah, and then they had the one night stand, but they had the night of passion because remember Lucky cheated on Elizabeth with Maxie, and then Jason saw Jason saw with, saw Sam with Sam with Rick. So that's how they did the night of passion for Jason Elizabeth. It was just one. It was just a one night stand, but. To me, that was the best night of passion that Jason and Elizabeth had. That was where, that's one of my favorite moments that Jason and Elizabeth had, because they finally did it. They never, they never had a, they had, they never had a love scene before. But I did love that one, the night of passion, and then I think that one had a lot of ratings. So. so it was basically mostly Jason and Elizabeth. When Jason and Elizabeth had scenes all the time in Draw Hospital, but well, it was a lot of ratings though from the, from from then on. But. But they were, they were also, they also won the, they also won for Super Couple Smackdown a few years back. I remember fans were voting who wanted, who, who were the Super Couple for each, for each soap opera. But I remember for General Hospital, they beat All My Children and Wanted to Live. And then, and then Jason and Elizabeth, they won it over Jason, Sam, and Lucky, and Elizabeth. So 
mostly fans wanted the Night of Passion for Jason Lisbeth to be a couple in Draw Hospital. Because remember, there was a lot of crazy fans for Jason Lisbeth, but also Jason and Sam. Yeah, a lot of good good moments for that one. So they wanted for a super couple SmackDown. But it was hard for Jason and Elizabeth to be a couple. I don't know why they couldn't pair Jason and Elizabeth as a couple. So those were one of my moments when they first met. The Night of Passion. I didn't. My Night of Passion. The Night of Passion of Jason and Elizabeth. That was my favorite one. Oh yeah, there was like a lot. I think I mostly loved Jason and Elizabeth's love scenes though. But it wasn't really, it wasn't really like a lot of love scenes going on with Jason and Elizabeth because it was just really short. Because we know that Steve Burton didn't want to, didn't want to take off his shirt. He didn't want to have like a lot of love scenes because remember Steve Burton said that he felt like he was old already. Yeah, but he's still in good shape though. He still looks, he still looks like the same Jason Morgan to me. And also, Jason and Elizabeth will always have a connection when Jake died. I just can't, I just can't believe still that Jake is is gone. But I hope they do. I hope Ron is gonna probably maybe find a way to bring him back. I know that Jake is already dead, but hey. If this is a soap opera, anything can happen. We can bring back Jake alive. But we'll see in the future, like, if Ron will still be a head writer. He's still the head writer right now. If, maybe if he'll decide to uh, bring back Jake alive, because we really want him to be alive. If this is a soap opera, anything can happen. Yeah, Jason and Elizabeth will always, have con will always have a connection for each other. Even though they're not together, they'll always be friends, of course, but they'll always have a connection. And that's Jake. So those are good moments from Jason and Elizabeth. They had a lot of good moments. I love that they reconnected their friendship, like from the past, like when they officially broke up in 2008, I believe, or 2009. Jason and Elizabeth never had a connection anymore because Elizabeth was with Lucky, also cheated with Lucky with Nicholas, and then Jason got back with Sam. So that was basically it for for uh, for Jason and Elizabeth. But they still we're still friends, but they never officially made it back together, though. but I thought if, if Steve Burton wasn't going to leave the show, if he wasn't going to leave John Hospital, I think, I believe, I do believe that Jason and Liz would be, would be together. So those were good moments that I named. I'm not going to name a lot, because these are basically my main moments from John Hospital that I watch. But basically, I think that John Hospital that was better was in the 90s. Like, a lot of good stuff from when the actors were all young, the actress, like all the actors and actresses that were all young that were still on the show, playing like teenagers, yeah, that's that's one of the good stuff that were, that was good in the 90s. 2000s, it was alright though, but most of all, most of all, it was, uh, most of all, it was, uh, it was mostly the, 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 the 90s, the 90s was the, was the best one. So that was basically, I think these are, these are all, those are all the moments that I need. I know it probably this vlog is long, but those were basically just my moments from John Hospital. So that's basically it. Happy 50th anniversary to John Hospital. That's all my moments from John Hospital. I don't want to name a lot because this, this is a long vlog, long vlog talking about other moments from, from uh, all the stuff that, that I, that I took note on. But those were also, those were my moments because those were the my those were the moments that I mean that were my favorites that I watched from the John Hospital throughout 50 years. Probably there's gonna be more, but I'm not naming a lot of moments because there's too many moments. So that's basically it. That's all my moments from John Hospital. But it's just it's basically the favorite year that I loved from John Hospital was, was the 90s. That was the best one. And hope you guys enjoyed today's John Hospital from the 50th anniversary, and then enjoy this week. This week's John Hospital Monday through Friday because the, murder, the nurses' ball will be brought back Friday. I think I'm here Friday, and it's gonna be a one hell of a good show for the nurses' ball. And just enjoy John Hospital being the 50th anniversary for this week. So this is my vlog talking about my favorite moments of John Hospital, and I think I'm gonna. Be, I believe I'll be making another vlog after this. So stay tuned. Happy 50th anniversary to John Hospital.
It's a general hospital event. Yes. Celebrate big returns. It's so good to see you. Can I come in? Celebrate big adventure. Come on! Oh. Celebrate 50 years of drama. Let's get this party started. General Hospital, weekdays on ABC.